I'm going crazy. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I, I'm telling you, I literally filmed so many videos, but I was just so lazy to like edit any of them. But tomorrow is Treasure's comeback, so I might as well just post this video. Um, so this is sorting chapter three. Well, actually not even chapter three. Chapter one, two, three photo cards, but mainly chapter three because I finally got enough. So yeah, so I finally completed my OT12 first press and I'm so happy because it was so, well actually it wasn't really hard, I just um, bought like 8 cards, not 8, probably like 10 first press cards from Riley because she had so many chapter 1 um, first press PCs, so I was like, oh, let me buy it off of you. And then Riley gave it to me for like $2 each, so I bought like 10 from her. <laughs> It's crazy. Riley has helped me so much for my um, collection, so I really want to thank Riley and give her a shout out, even though she may or may not watch this video. <laughs> but yeah, it's so aesthetically pleasing to like look at a complete, you know, like OT12 set. Even though I really don't like the green background of um, the chapter three first press. I, I like the blue and the pink. Even though the pink does, is not um, the same shade too, so that really bothers me. Why like they couldn't stick to one shade of pink. But yay, look at your cute. I can't wait for the um, first press AR PCs because I'm definitely collecting um, a lot of OT12 sets for, the fir for their first full album. Because guys, let me tell you, I'm buying 108 albums. <laughs> I just bought 108 albums yesterday and it cost like $2,700 so it was crazy but all of the albums are not for me though uh, I opened a group order and thankfully enough people um, joined my group order so I only had to um, spend like $600 out of my own pocket which sounds like a lot but I hope that I can resell a lot too so that I can get my money back <laughs> if I can't resell that I'm gonna be so sad <laughs> because I'm gonna be stuck with so many extras because only um out of the 108 albums that I bought only 60 are claimed so I have like more than 50 albums extra so yeah I think I'm gonna end up collecting OT12 for this for their first full album because I'm kind of too lazy to, to sell the extras too because um, I'm gonna start going back to school on January 29th for my second semester of college so yeah I can't I can't spend a lot of time um, selling extras but still I'm really happy that I can collect um, OT12 for their first full album but originally I, I, I wanted to um, buy so many albums because I wanted to get a signed album. So I wanted to join the fan sign, which I may or may not win. I'm probably not gonna win anyways because I know a, a, lot, of people are, a lot of people are buying like 300 albums, 500 albums, and K-Town For You doesn't really like um, international fans. They only pick Korean um, fans for treasure. So we'll see. We'll just uh, hope and see because we'll never know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm missing one Junkyu Chapter 1 PC. And um, which is so funny because I actually have had that PC for so many times. Like I had that this exact Junkyu PC like at least three times and I had to like trade it off and then sell it off and then trade it off and then sell it off and then keep buying it again because I keep like um, confusing myself with which one I need but yeah thankfully I, I bought one for like six dollars so that's good that's that's a really good price for a Junkyu PC because Junkyu PCs usually um, cost around like eight and up Oh, I'm missing that Mashi PC, but I have it on the way, so it's good. Yeah, I finished Junq Chapter 3. I finished all my um, Chapter 3 collections, actually. But Mashi is still pending. Oh my god, I have a dupe. <sighs> so 
so I'm gonna have to sell that off because I don't need to trade anymore since I already completed Mashi, Junkyu, Asahi, and Yunsuk for chapter 3. So, yeah, let's just make money. <laughs> I think I have another dupe, Mashi dupe. It's so hard to sell those two, the Keton for you um, concept PCs, because I feel like everyone has them. Jihoon selfie. I bought this selfie because um, it was cute, but like, I kind of don't need it anymore because I don't collect Jihoon, so I think I'm gonna have to sell it off. So yeah, I'll put it there. Yeah, that's reserved for someone too. Yeah, I bought a lot of extra PCs and then sell them off because I wanted to help other people with their collection, like these Haruto PCs. So yeah, I marked I mark those um, with the people's ads that bought them for me. Oh, I originally bought that Yensei too for myself, but then I didn't want it anymore. <laughs> and, and these Jungwon is for my friend um, Delaney. That's my Christmas gift for her. <laughs> oh, I think I have a dupe. Okay, I'll sell this um, Junkyu first press too. But Junkyu is not that hard to sell though because, to be honest, if you post a Junkyu PC up for sale, there's gonna be like at least 10 people DMing you about it. <laughs> He's so easy to sell. Oh my god, I have another dupe. But I think I have this one up for trade though, already. Yep, I do. Okay, I think that one's already up for trade. Yensuk. It was actually really hard to collect Yensuk, to be honest. I didn't expect him to be so hard, but he was really hard this comeback. Wait, I got a dupe. Oh my god. Wait, I have... I have so many dupes. This is what happens when you re when you try to like rush your collection because, to be honest, if you see someone post about it, then you just DM them right away and be like, okay, um, can I trade for it or like, can I buy it from you? And then you don't even realize they already have the PC, so you have so you end up with so many extras. See, I have another extra John Q. <laughs> ah, John Q. Jihoon. Yansuk. I don't think I have this one yet. Yep. Yeah, Yansuk was really hard for chapter three. I think he. I didn't expect him to be one of the hardest members, but I guess it makes sense because he is part of the young line and the young line is always like the hardest compared to the Mahme. Asahi. Oh, it took me a while to complete Asahi for this comeback too. I focused so much, well not for, yeah, not for like this upcoming comeback, but I meant like chapter 3 comeback because I focused so much on Junkyu to um, complete his uh, set so quickly that I had to like join several goals just to complete Q. but then I forgot that I actually collected other members so I ended up struggling so much for Mashi's set, for Asahi's set, and for Yunsuk's set because all I focused on was um, Q. so I gotta um, figure out how to process this whole collection thing next comeback so that I can collect everyone you know equally and not take that much time to Oh, I have another um, Asahi dupe. Okay. Oh, if you guys can see, there's actually Songhen behind Asahi. He's from Enhypen, and I'm actually an, an Enhypen stan, so I'm both uh, Enjin and Chume. So please don't hate me. <laughs> we can stand both groups. I know that they're literally like rivals, but we can love and support both groups, guys. I'm also posting a really long video of Enhypen too, like an Enhypen unboxing because I bought so much merch from them, like their albums, their light stick, and their neck pillow. So that video is coming up. I already filmed that video. I just gotta edit it. <laughs> it's so long. Oh, this is my favorite part. Yeah, I have a, never mind. I have a lot missing for Insec. But I'm pretty sure all of those um, PCs are already on the way. My Songhen collection is so sad. <laughs> it's only three PCs. <laughs> But I'm gonna um, focus on him after Treasure. Yeah, I got some Yunsuk selfie right there. I have like more on the way. But these are Keyring PCs 
for a treasure. And I'm gonna buy the other key ring so I can have both OT12 sets because I really love these PCs and they're so cute. Wait, I'm figuring out, I'm, I'm figuring out like who goes next. <laughs> Usually when I when I can't remember, I just try to like um, say the fan chant and be like, Show your suck, Park Ji Hoon, Yo, She, Kim Jo Ki, Ma Shi Ho. <laughs> but yeah, it's a it's a struggle with twelve members to be honest. But as long as you can remember the fan chant and the order, then it'll be easy. I just can't wait to go to their concert. I'm already I'm already saving up for their first concert. Hopefully they go to New York. Like, um, cause mostly K-pop artists, they usually go to New York if they're gonna go to the U.S. Cause I feel like New York is just surrounded by um, K-pop stands. So hopefully they come here and I'm definitely gonna be there front row and I'm gonna try to get a meet and greet because starting now, I'm already trying to save up for their first concert. So yeah. And I'm gonna go there with my friends too from um, other states because I met so many um, with my K-pop stand account, so I have a lot of moods that I can go with. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm really trying to figure out like who goes next, like it's so hard. <laughs> wait, wait. Choi and Suk, Park Ji Hyun, Yoshi, Kim Jung Kyu, Ma Shi Ho, Yin Jae Yuk. Sarang, hey. Asahi, Bang Ye Dam, Kim Do Young. Haruto, Park Jung Woo, Seo Jung Won, Treasure, Side Up Hit. <laughs> My brother can't even remember the fan chant, but I can. I, I literally like studied the fan chant. I was like, I have to get this right. I need to be prepared for their concert. <laughs> okay, I think that's it for the PCs. And now for my postcards. I did finish all everyone's postcards, but I don't think I have um everything on hand yet, so. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting for the rest of the postcards. I had to buy most of the postcards for chapter 3 because it's so hard to trade postcards. And I really don't like trading postcards either because like, I don't have the top loader for postcards. So um, I mostly just buy them and just like, you know, spend up like $7 max for postcards. And it's so, I just don't, I just don't like postcards to be honest, like there's such a hassle. But here's a clip, I, I'm just gonna speed this up, but here's a clip of me um, putting everyone's orders in my binder and like putting a post-it with their ads on it. Cause like, it's so hard for me to keep up, especially when I'm like a go manager now and I have so many group orders open. So um, yeah, I need to be more organized. And I'm a very organized person anyway, so like I'm not really worried, but yeah, I should have like, not open so many group orders at the same time <laughs> but it's okay it's manageable but that's all the pcs for now and these are my extras that i'm probably gonna have to sell soon so they're gonna be on my page at lance's trades so you guys can follow that account and yeah I hope you guys are all excited for Treasures to come back. I'm really excited because just from the teaser, it's already a bop. Like it's such a, it's just like such a perfect song to start the year. And I really hope that it gets all the attention it deserves. And Going Crazy is gonna be in the full album. So come on, come on. Just stand Treasure and see you later. Bye. Baby, oh.